ninja finger. Dr. Shane, I have a message. Okay. A fortune cookie? You better not say anything stupid today. What? Is that a threat? Hey, my man. 2025, near and far. Not bad. That one's a strain. Just doesn't seem right. Everyone seems to love these. Oh, don't worry, we, we write down your maximum, not what's easy. It's like bench press. If you lift the weight like this, then buddy, you can handle some more plates. But, that with the cataract is seeing better. Let's take a look. Hmm, trace to maybe one plus patchy PCO? Let's yag it. Doc? Oh, just uh, some problem we'll have to take care of later. Um, anyway, uh, I was I was just thinking... Thinking in my own head... That we should go ahead and put in the other lens. Uh, you're already 2025 20, uh, with just one eye. If you were bench pressing that much weight with just one, imagine what you could do with two. Oh! D Doc, are you, are you okay? Really? Um, well, or we could just... Uh, put you in a holding pattern. Um, give you some time to adjust over the next six months. Six months? Excuse me. Bruce Lee hitting me every time an option isn't perfect. Doesn't he realize there is no perfect solution? If this is multifocal intolerance, and we place a second lens now, we may have to exchange both. Sure, wait six months. Do all this, but don't yag. It messes up the exchange. Ever try to blow up a balloon with a hole in it? Vitrectomy, scleral fixated lens. <sighs> Maybe go back to the OR and repolish guys like him. Floaters, dry eye, pilo, do it all. But some biology won't neuroadapt any more than they did to their cataract. Vision just won't seem right. They'll have three standard deviations, more halos. Maybe it's unique visual processing. Well, you see, the retina just doesn't set a set of pixels to the brain. The image is pre-processed. For example, you may see gray squares on these intersections here that disappear when you look at them directly. They're not really there. Or if the retina processing detects a shape with enlarging edges, tells the brain to duck. Maybe we're on to something. Too bad you can't just try these lenses before you buy them, like glasses. I don't know about this practice. Okay, which is better? One. Or two. Um, can I say it again? Two. Or one. Oh yeah, it was definitely two. So, being comfortable placing multifocals requires being comfortable occasionally exchanging them. Patients like me will appreciate it. To the OR. So we'll have to switch out the lens for about 1%. The trouble is, lifting the edge can be difficult. Hard to find an instrument thin enough. Use the ninja fingers? That's what I'm trying to do. No, the ninja finger. You know, the instrument with the thin semi-dull extension that's perfect for lifting the edge of Decime's membrane? The one you used for 2,000 DMAC preps with only one prep failure? If it works on Decime's memory, don't you think it would work on? The anterior capsule. I'm glad I thought of that. Wiggle, wiggle. And we're in. Just like the mech, the finger reduces risk of radial or puncture tears. Visco expansion is easy once you're in. Even old fibrotic edges lift easily. But Dr. Tankman, can't you just use a needle? Well, look at this case. That one piece IOL didn't make it into the bag and the anterior and posterior edges of the capsule are adhesed together. Think we should go poking around with a needle? Sir, use the finger. With Ninja Finger, I've never been unable to exchange a lens bag to bag. Even for 12 year old lenses, it's time for some IOL Ninja moves. Watch this. What are you doing? I'm using the lens to squeegee the peripheral bag, proliferating stem cells and such. Here's another exchange. Look at all the stuff growing out there. A before and after really shows it. Wow, can those cells cause adhesions? 
especially around the haptic bulbs on Alcon lenses. If I can't get this haptic free without, there we go, without unzippering zonules, we cut them off. Cases with more material often have tighter adhesions. Here's a trick for the really tight ones. You'd hate to pull on a weak spot and start an unzippering process and pull off the whole bag. Let's push instead. The broad edge of the optic distributes the force to a wider range of zonules. Look at that. Safe for any weakest links. This clean looking bag doesn't even have a lens yet, but it's not as clean as you think. Especially if you're placing a multifocal, consider cleaning it now. You never know when you're gonna have to do one of those rare exchanges. Maybe we can prevent adhesions. Look, Sina, subincisional cortex. Whoa, stupid bag coming forward. Careful, you might break bag. Let's put in the six millimeter acrylic posterior capsule protector. Hey, you stole that from Michael Snyder. Always borrow from the greats, Sina. I do the same thing when polishing. Did you know you can polish the capsule with the IOL? Why? Sina, this matters in battle. I do the same thing before I polish with the IA tip. What's the point? You seem distracted. Patience, Grasshopper. You never know when polishing could open the capsule and putting a lens in could tear it bigger. So it's best to have the lens already. Uh-oh, you're open. Don't worry, Sina. As long as we don't let the chamber shallow and rinse manually, we're fine. Wait, how did you rotate the toric lens with no viscoat in the eye? Wax on, wax off. What? Suction, then make circles. Clockwise or counterclockwise. Whoa, how does that work? It bends the haptic, removing tension, so the lens can just roll along the equator like a wheel. Fine tune till it's perfect. Hydrate the wounds and you're done. Dr. Tankman, I really appreciate all these uh, other things, but can you, can you focus on my eye? I'll tie it all together for you. I'm going to borrow from Michael Snyder to protect your posterior capsule before I put scissors in the eye. We don't want to poke your posterior capsule. Ow! Don't hit my anterior capsule. Oh, you felt that? I mean, uh, there's nothing to feel. No harm, no foul. Okay, let's get out of here. Thank you. See a lot better, and I feel more comfortable exchanging IOLs now. For the rare biology that can't tolerate multifocals, we're giving you the next best thing, which for you is the best thing. Message, sir. Your fingers first mine. Fucking lot. Oh, uh, unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. Fortunately.